If you are used to have a needle, a toothpick, a tweezers or a firefly on your Swiss Army knife, you will probably miss these little tools if you carry a Swiss Army knife without tool slots on the scales. For example, if you carry a soldier knife or another 111 mm knife with these rubberized edges. In this video I will show you an alternative possibility how you can store these little helpers in the knife body, so stay tuned. Hello YouTube! Welcome to another Swiss Army Knife workshop video. In this series I show you maintenance and customization tricks for your Swiss Army Knife. The link for the playlist for my previous workshop videos you find here and in the description box below. My experience is that every user has another priority when it comes to the question which tools are important for me and which tools I use only once a year. <laughs> For me, for example, is the wood saw super important. A Swiss Army knife without wood saw is not really attractive for me. So there are for sure many people who don't want to miss the insert tools, needle, toothpick, tweezers or firefly. If apart from the slide-in tools, such a 111mm model is the right model for you, you don't have to dispense on these little helpers, even if you don't have slots on the scales. The secret to store these little tools you find under the wood saw and the big plate. And as much I know, these two tools are always next to each other. Between the closed plate, the closed wood saw and the corresponding springs is a cavity where needle, tweezers, toothpick or firefly can be placed. Now I will show you my personal way how you can store these tools safely in the knife body. The cavity under the blade goes deeper than the cavity under the wood saw. That's why there is a groove under the big blade. I slide the tweezer into this groove. I do it in that way that it holds itself in place through the tension of the legs. But now I have the problem that the plastic head of the tweezers is too thick that I can store the whole tweezer into the groove. That's why I have to thin out the plastic head about one millimeter that I can put it into the groove. So now the tweezers is stored in a safe place and that I don't lose the needle, I know two possibilities. The first option is to make a small hole behind the corkscrew or the Phillips. If you want to make a hole without removing the scale, I would do this with the needle file. But you can also pierce a hole with a red hot needle. But I will try it first with the needle file. The second way to store the needle safely is to fix it with a syringe tube on the leg of a tweezers or the toothpick. For that I use the smallest tube from my shrink tube set. This is 2 mm.
Like this, you can store tweezers as a needle. Last step is to store the toothpick. And this one, you can actually just lay on top, like this, with the head facing to the end of the handle. But now we have a problem. So, as you could see, the seam part can theoretically fall out if you shake like crazy. To prevent this, take a little piece of the same shrink tube as we used uh, by a needle and tweezers, slide it in, and now the seam part is thick enough that it can fall out if you just open one of these two tools, either the wood saw or the blade. If you open both, of course, you can take it out, but if you just open one, it's not possible that your tools peak fall out. To get access to the small tools, you need to open the wood saw and the big blade. Now you can dip out the tools peak or the firefly. With the tools because of Firefly, I can easily release the tweezers and the needle out of the groove. In my opinion, these little helpers can make your 111 mm with Sami knife with this grip scale even more valuable as it already is. So my friends, that's it for today. I hope you like these little tricks. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you next Friday. Ciao!